In this new video, we're going to review the new graphical engine provided for viewing 3D models in LibreBridge Concrete. A better way to appreciate that is we go to the substructure module. We select substructure. Uh, let's review the geometry. And this is the new graphical engine using the left mouse uh, button. We can just as pressing it, we can just rotate the model fairly easy. Get the standard icons of fit view. We can save the view and we just switch to isometric views, front views, side views, and plan views. And more time, we can just rotate the module as well. And just go back to the regular isometric view. We can also do the projection type. Then different display types, like solid, transparent views, or just wireframe views. Another option that helps us to verify our geometry is the ability to place dimensions on the screen. Now, For example, if I need to place a dimension and see how wide is this pile cap, just go left click and accept this point and accept the last point then say oh this is the dimension and back up I can also undo or delete all the dimensions if I switch the view maybe I want to see height of the cap then as I rotate these dimensions stay so, as I said, I can undo or delete all the dimensions. Also, they give me the ability, if I set up some loads here, for example, we're going to set up some live loads into the structure. At one design truck, just generate uh, some loads. Got 29 load cases, for example. If I go back to geometry here, right, I got the option to specify that I want to be the loads and what a specific load case I want to review. So this graphical engine will allow me to do all of that in 3D and also in a 2D view as the schematics will show. So not only applies to all the live loads but any other loads uh, like composite loads, wind loads that I may want to select. And this is the new graphical viewer in Libridge Concrete. Thank you.